Hey you guys, this is The Saint making another tutorial for FileMaker and this one is based on a question that was just asked on the FileMaker forum. The question is how to make a conditional value list with a twist. Um, the question here is, um, there is a project table and a people table, blah blah blah. Alright, it's actually very simple. Uh, the people want to create a project, then they want to select a team because they have a bunch of people and every person belongs to a certain team. So they will select a team and then uh, another drop down list will show only people from that specific team. But the twist is that there is one team that they always want to see in every, um, in every single, uh, no matter what team they choose. So let's see if we can um, first make the conditional value list and then add the twist. So how do we do this? Um, I've made in FileMaker, I'm using FileMaker Pro 12, I made a little, a very basic um, <clears throat> little test database here and I've got two tables. I've got people and I've got projects. My people table contains very simply three fields. I have an ID field which is a number field with an auto enter serial um, option here if you double click it you will see in the auto enter tab you will have serial number here um, then I have a simple name field for the person's name and a simple team field which is a simple text field for the team that this person is in um, uh, that looks something like this uh, control B you know, I've made a few little records here I've got person 1 who is in team 1 I've got person 2 who is also in team 1 I've got person 3 in team 2 person global in the team global now this one is the one I'm gonna want to see at all times uh, depend uh, no matter which um, team I select so I have made a tiny little layout here for um, the project and the idea is that I have a project I select a team here and then here I can select a person and this drop down should only show me the people from that team plus the global team okay so how do we start making this first of all we're gonna want to select uh, we're gonna have this drop down here which is basically I'm gonna have a quick look here at the projects table as well we've got only four fields here the ID field which is as always a number field with an auto enter serial option here I've got a date which is a date field I've got team which is a simple text field where we will select our team and I've got person ID FK which will be the place where we store the ID of the person we are going to select and the relationship will look like this <clears throat> we have our people ID is related to the person ID FK so the foreign key ID of the person here in the project table very simple very basic now how do we select a team here that is pretty simple we go to edit layout we select this team we make this a drop down list because there are no values now we will make a value list a new one we will call this teams and then we're going to use going to use use values from the field uh, people and we're just going to use the value team here I did not for this example make a specific team table because that would make everything maybe a slightly a bit more complicated but we don't really even need this okay let's exit the layout and let's see okay we can select our team here team one two three uh, team or global very simple those are uh, all the teams we have we have team 1 team 2 or global now whoops um, we are going to want to have a drop down here to select a person but we only want to be able to select people from uh, the team we've selected here let's first do that a very simple basic uh, conditional value list so we select team number one and then we want this to be a drop down showing me only people from team number one how do we do that we go to file manage database or I always do control shift uh, D on Windows and we're going to make a second table occurrence of the people table because basically the idea is like this if I'm on the projects table here and I enter a team in this field here I for instance I enter team 1 then I only want to see the people that are equal to team 1 so what do I do I make this one I select this one I uh, click this duplicate the selected objects button two green crosses in the bottom here then I get it people 2 
which is not a new table. We still only have two tables, people and project. And as you can see, if you go in the upper left corner here, you will see that the source table for this one is people. And for people two, the source table is also people. So it's st st uh, still the same table. It's just a different table occurrence. It's a, it's a little bit of a, a difficult concept for some people, but once you get it, it's actually pretty logical. It's a, just so that we can create a different kind of relationship. It is so that we can see from the project um, layout that we just uh, created, that we can see only people from this team. So what are we going to do? We're going to create a relationship here from team to team here. So voila. That means that if we are on a record here and we enter a team here, team one, we will only be able to see people who are uh, from this same team. Okay, let's give this a more of a logical name. Let's call it people projects. Voila, let's see if this works already. Let's go here, select this person IDFK. Let's make this a drop down list and let's say, um, let's make this um, people from selected team. We're going to use values from what field? From the, not from the people table, but from the people projects table occurrence. We're going to use their ID because we want to store their ID, but we want to see their name and we want to show only values from the second field because we only want to see their name. We don't care about their ID. And the trick here is to include only related values starting from starting from what from the projects table. Let's see um, how we can see it here in the file manage database what we are going to do is we're only going going to include these records that are related to or that kind of how should I say that are well visible through this relationship so basically when we are on the project table we only want to see people for whom this relationship is valid so if, if you we enter team one here then we only want to see people from team one let's see if this already uh, is working uh, I've got person one and person two I had selected team one if you go to our people we will see that team one is for person one and person two person three is in team two so it's correct what we're seeing is already working we've already made a conditional value list if we select team two here then we will only see person three here and if we select team global here then we will only see the person global so this is already a, a, a basic conditional value list now we have to add the twist, which means that here, no matter what team I choose, here I always want to see also the person from the team global. So let's do a little test. Let's see if we can figure this one out. One thing you could do is um, we're going to do a little step back in order to be able to do a test. We're going to make this in an edit box again, this team field here, and we're going to make it a little bit bigger. So we're going to do a little test. Um, we're going to exit and then we're going to enter a value manually. Let's, uh, it already says team one, that's good. Now we're going to hit a return and we're going to enter global. So let's see what this gives. Aha, uh -huh. I've got person one and two and person global. If I remove this one, then I'm only going to get I'm only going to get person global. So this this is the trick. You're going to have to enter two values. Let's enter team two. And see yes then we have person three and still person global of the team global so this is going to be the trick we need to have two values in one field but um, we don't want to manually enter this so we, we I kind of like what we had before when we um, had the team and we could just select the team uh, but we're gonna have to find some way to do this and to create the relationship based on a field that contains this how can we do that let's go back and I think this one had a height of 22 pixels so let's go back let's make this not an edit box but let, let's restore the drop down list let's make it back like it was um, before this is teams all right I think this should uh, be it there you go team one and we have person one and two okay this is working again as it was before 
so this is great now how do we make uh, this um, new field that contains both the team and the global very simple we're going to make a new calculation field we're going to go to file manage database and we're going to go to the fields and we're going to make a uh, I always call my calculation fields C underscore and then I'm gonna call it um, team I'm gonna say plus uh, global so that it's clear so that you know what's what we are going to make this a calculation field and then we're going to create this and it's gonna ask me what kind of a um, calculation would you like to make we're going to make this an if statement so if you click here and you hit I then it says the first one here is if if you double click it then you have the example of an if statement here let's um, change the let's add a few returns here so that we can of know what we're looking at if we put it like this then the if statement becomes a, a bit more clear to look at it's going to result in a text um, so let's see if what is going to be our statement if the team field contains a team name it should add a return and the word global but if it already contains the word global it should not so if field the the name team um, does not equal global then we should add global so then the result one will be global or we can put global second but it doesn't really matter we can put global first it's gonna be global and it's gonna be and um, and return and we're going to add the team that we have selected so basically if the team name is an, uh, another value than global so if we select for instance team one then we want to see the value global and the team that has been selected here and if the team uh, is global then we just need to see the team name so team i hope this statement makes a little bit of sense for you guys we're going to check it out and see what it does in a second uh, just uh, to go over the last time if the, the team that we have selected is not the the global team if it is another team then we're going to um, use the word global we're going to use a return and the second value will be the team we have selected um, if the team that we select is the team global then it's just going to be that and nothing more okay let's try and see if this makes a little bit more sense if we add this field to our uh, layout here and see actually what it does this is a very big name, so let's move this a little bit to the side. Let's make this field a little bit bigger so we can see what's going on. And let's go into our layout and let's see what's up. It's already showing uh, us what it's doing. I've selected Team 2 here, so it's showing me Global plus Team 2. If I select Team 1, then it's going to be Global and Team 1. But if I select Global, then it's just going to show me Global. And let's see what's going on in here. Ah. This is not really working yet because we have made this calculation field but we still have to base our relationship on this calculation field because this now is not working yet. Let's go to file, manage database, let's go to relationships and now our relationship is based on the team field in the projects table but we have to base it on our calculation field. So let's double click this relationship, let's select the C team plus global and let's hit change here, let's see what this does team one and global let's select here a uh -huh. person one person two and person global brilliant exactly what we needed if we select global then it's only going to show us our person global and if we select team two it's going to say global team two person three person global so we're now always seeing the people from the global team um, plus whichever one we have selected so i think we've solved our problem voila